let us come back and do the 2017 the part uh, part b of 2017 uh, question board paper so with this we are done with all the 10 years board papers so successfully completed all the 10 years board papers i have solved each and every question of it and most of them as I've, as you have all seen they are already covered in the playlist please watch the playlist as in when you write the questions try to take a notebook as i said keep noting the topics and end the chapter with your board paper so that it is easy for you before your board exams right Let's give simple test to distinguish between the following. They have given me butanol and butanone. Okay, right. So now this is when you see this compound. This is an aldehyde and this is a ketone. So you, they asked me to compare between this and this. So we very well know aldehydes, they respond to which test? Tollens test, Felling's test as well as Benedict's test also. So I have done all the three videos. This particular video, you have Tollens test. This has Fellings and this also has a Benedict's, Benedict's test. Now suppose in the exam, if you're not remembering the reaction, what to do? You can write you, uh, just like this. Butanol is an aldehyde. Done. So what does it do? It's going when a tolerance reagent is added to butanol, it gives or it forms a white silver or silver color precipitate on the walls of the test tube, which confirms the presence of aldehyde. Like that. Fellings, yeah, you can write the uh, the formation of uh, cuprous oxide C2O, where Cu2O, where you get a red precipitate. Benedict's also you can mention the color or uh, your uh, brick red that is your red, and this will be a light tinge of that brick red color of Benedict's. You can write that and end your answer. So please watch that video for Tollens, Fellings, and Benedict's. When I come back to benzoic acid and phenol, I did this reaction many number of times. I said benzoic acid is going to respond or it will combine with your sodium bicarbonate and it hits CO3 and it will form yeah just uh, see it's going to form sodium benzoate plus carbon dioxide water plus carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide is going to form effervescence which indicates the presence of benzoic acid I did I think this is sixth or seventh time I'm doing this reaction so phenol doesn't respond to sodium bicarbonate this is what is your first question so let us erase and come back to the next question so what is given here and they said <laughs> Write the reaction involved in the following. So they've given me one reaction that is Itard reaction and Stephens. I've already done Itard reaction in video number 9 and Stephens reaction in video number 8. Please watch both the videos. You can exactly write the same whatever is given in the video with the definition, reaction, name of the reactants and products. So this also is done. Now let us do the last question. There is one question given here, conversions. So what should I do? Let us solve the first one. Benzoic acid to benzaldehyde. Simple. Same as uh, earlier. Benzoic acid to benzaldehyde. So, right. first write the formula. This is a benzoic acid. To what should I convert it into? I have to convert this into benzaldehyde. Right. Now, simple as I said try to first convert this into acyl chloride because if once I get acyl chloride I can use Rosenman reduction to form benzaldehyde because basically Rosenman reduction is used to prepare or convert acyl chlorides to benzaldehyde yes so I'm going to use suppose if I use thionyl chloride right so this forms sulfur dioxide gas HCl and your acyl chloride now this acyl chloride so i'm going to introduce palladium in the presence of barium sulfate this is called rosenman reduction which directly converts a reduction process that's the reason when you add hydrogen hydrogen like this one hcl comes out right and your h goes and adds here so minus hcl and this gives you a benzaldehyde and this is benzoic acid quite common reaction which we have done yes so we are done with this let us erase the first one and start with the second one what should i do i have to convert acetophenone to benzoic acid okay the second question acetophenone to Benzoic acid. Okay, let me try. Now, uh, basically, acetophenone. What is the formula of acetophenone? C6H5 is phenone, COCH3. Now, this is your acetophenone, correct? Now, as soon as you do C methyl ketone 
try to do the ida form test why i'll tell you this is your methyl ketone so try to add iodine three and four moles so when you do ida form test so this is your ida form test so when you do your ida form test we very well know you get a salt first c6h5 coona right and apart from this you also form and you also get an ida form yes or no done this is your ida form nai okay that is all fine nai water and all those now you are going to take this salt this is important because i have to convert it into benzoic acid take that sodium benzoate <clears throat> yes now <laughs> suppose if i um, i have to get what benzoic acid is it it let us write that benzoic acid here right now uh, if i suppose if i'm going to hydrolyze this let us see if i going to hydrolyze so what do i get this is h plus minus this is a cleavage of the bond sodium hydroxide comes out and your so i will get c6h5coh and nah that's it this is your conversion simplest conversion i felt ida form to confine the hydrolysis and you get benzoic acid so we are done with the second one also let us do the last reaction ethanoic acid to high to hydroxy ethanoic acid okay Mm. ethanoic acid to to hydroxy ethanoic acid right. let us see how to do first try to write the formula now also again write the formula of the product what is the product one it, this is again ethanoic acid but two hydroxy so there is one hydroxyl group in the second carbon that so now what do you do first try to add a chlorinated when you chlorinate just see this is your alpha hydrogen one chlorine goes and replaces the hydrogen yes so what do i get i am going to get this is in the presence of phosphorus i can say yes this becomes ccl2 coh dichloro uh, acetic acid right now to this particular one i am going to add <coughs> your naoh base now what happens this chlorine or this oh minus is going to replace this chlorine how many chlorines did we write we did a mistake here we've written only one chlorine and this is chcl ah, now this is correct because only one chlorine isn't it so this becomes ch2cl now when you're adding sodium hydroxide to this the nucleophile that is your oh minus goes and replaces this chlorine what do we get this na will come out with this cl i get nacl and ch2 is here your oh is replaced this chlorine this one and coh so this is 2 hydroxy ethanoic acid that's it so first i took i have done uh, the hvz reaction after adding hcl or after adding cl substitution of alpha hydrogen that alpha hydrogen i try to react it with a base so that sodium chloride comes out and the oh replaces the cl position and i get two hydroxy ethanoic acid so this, this, these are your 10 years board papers so please do practice it carefully the reason for me doing all these board papers taking so much of pain along with the chapters to make you all perfect yes